I, I don't know how if you had one receiver to pick in the NFL today and you were starting a team, I think you'd be out of your mind to take anybody except for Jamar Chase. You agree with that? I do agree with that, especially when you factor in his age because he's still only 22. You know, we know about the physical gifts that he has. We saw it last year, the strength, the speed, the hands, as it turned out. Uh, once training camp was over, he caught everything. <laughs> but a couple of things really stood out in week one in his performance against the Steelers. Number one, endurance. He played every snap which is hard to do as a wide receiver when you're sprinting down the field on every play. Uh, they, they had 100 snaps when you include penalties. So that in and of itself was incredible. He worked with a track coach in the offseason. It wasn't to get faster. It was to improve his endurance, and that certainly paid off. And the other thing that really stand, stood out, and he doesn't get enough credit for this, is the smarts. Once T. Higgins went out, he lined up at every spot they've got, and that's not – easy to do think about how difficult that is to know exactly what your responsibility is at every wide receiver spot in a game where you have 100 plays offensively he's smart he's tough he's fast he's physical he's fantastic and i'm with you if i could have my choice of any young receiver in the nfl he's my guy well and 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 dan uh, when peter king came into town uh, during the preseason and, and wrote you know some great stuff uh, used to work of course here in cincinnati when he got his start after coming out of ohio university um i had to get in that plug for ohio university <laughs> um but but um he wrote about chase the grinder and i remember when i was doing the nfl for years uh Odell Beckham Jr., believe it or not, was thought of as that similar kind of guy. Where Now, he was more flamboyant off the field than Chase has been. We understand that. But as far as showing up early, working out, staying late, trying to get better every single day, Chase is that kind of guy. So everything you just said, all true. But I love the grinder part of this guy, at least from what I read and what I hear. Um, I'm sure you've heard similar stories about this guy, right? Well, I've seen it. And last year, when he was struggling in training camp and could not catch the ball, there were two reasons why I thought it was not going to be a problem. Number one, he didn't have a history of it at LSU. He dropped a total of five passes, I believe, in the two years that he played at LSU. Secondly, last year, so I'm not talking this year, I'm talking about last year, his rookie year in training camp, I have never seen a wide receiver in the years that I've been doing Bengals games catch more passes off the jugs gun after practice and i thought last year well he's doing it because he's struggling he feels like he needs the extra mm -hmm. work and it turns out that's not it at all that's his routine he did it this year he was the last guy out there catching balls off the jugs machine almost every day that's the difference that's the difference how you go from being star to the very best in the game and he's got that kind of work ethic